All right, now we get into the fun stuff. Mr. Jordan will be going into that collection as well. I think most of these turtles are from like the 80s and 90s. Good morning. Good morning, guys. We are headed out to Savers <laughs> because uh, that's where we go on Fridays now. So join us for another episode. We're going to head out there now and find some stuff to sell on eBay. Let's go. About to do a little bit of Sunday photography and a few of these things are things that we picked up on Savers on the weekend that I'll show you. Starting with a couple of pairs of shoes, these at Doc Martens were $15.99 because they've got a bit of wear around here but we think that they will still be okay, we're going to list them up. We also got a pair of Brooks that are super super clean on the bottom. Um, this O'Neill is cool, it looks to be around the 2000s I think and uh, it's like a terry cloth which Brad can't stand to touch but nice little style. We grabbed some brand new hard yakka moleskins, we find the moleskins do pretty well when they're new. Brad got two pairs of these uh, Adidas pants in the Aussie colours, a couple of different sizes. And I did grab this RM Williams vest even though it's supposed to have arms that zip on and they obviously did not come with it. Um, I'm just going to nip these little threads with my scissors and I'll just list it as sleeveless vest and uh, let them know that that's no longer there. I'm also listing up this Tommy Hill figure. We picked this up at Hearts for Heroes and uh, when we were buying it, it did have its tag attached. We bought it for $8. And as we were checking out, I looked up right as she cut the tag off. I don't know why they do that. Um, seems really strange. I can't figure out their reasoning, but I just said, oh, could I grab that please? Cause it's got all the information on it. And she kind of begrudgingly handed me the tag back. Uh, so I've just listed that as new without tags, but with the tag obviously in the picture. And so that I don't lose it, I'm going to store it in a little plastic bag in the tub so that uh, I can send the tag with it. It's a bit of a shame, I'm not sure why they do that, but still okay to list. There's also a couple of items that we picked up at Savers on Friday that have sold already, sold on Saturday. So the first one was this Polo Ralph Lauren 2XL polo shirt. We picked that one up for eight and it sold for 44 the next day. And the other one is this gorgeous RM Williams moleskin shirt. We picked that one up for $13.60 and it sold almost immediately for $69.95. So I will pop those in their satchels and off they go. Super quick turnaround. Happy Monday guys. Uh, busy day today. We have a little bit of listing to do. I'm actually going to be selling some of my other collections off. So I've started a new collection and I'm moving on from some of the stuff that I have been collecting. So I'll show you what i have uh, going to list up out of that stuff. We also have to go to the post. We're going to do a couple op shops because tomorrow we have another local deal to pick up. So we'll take you guys along for local deal tomorrow. But let's just show you what I'm selling from my actual personal collection. Okay, these are the things that I'm looking to sell off out of my personal collection. For those that don't know, I was collecting a lot of Goosebumps stuff. I'm probably still going to keep a lot of the books because I've almost completed the collection. But I'm going to sell off like these little games here, all these VHSs, this little postcard book, which is very, very cool. It's actually complete. Another tin set of books and this set of books here as well. And I'm going to sell off this here print, this signed Rory Sloan, Taylor Walker and Eddie Betts limited edition. Now that Eddie Betts is retired, I think now is the right time to sell it off. And the reason I'm selling this is I'm starting a new collection and it's just time to move it on. So I've enjoyed it while I've had it. I love Goosebumps. I love the pictures and stuff, but it's time to start something new. First little Goosebumps item is out the door same day. The postcard book has sold for $24.95. Bye little dude. We also listed a couple of N64 games from Brad's personal collection and this Bass Hunter fishing game sold almost immediately for 50 bucks. And I had just finished packaging but Yoshi's Story just sold as well. So this one also sold same day for $50. We love showing you guys these quick flips that are going fast for us because maybe you have something in your house that you're ready to get rid of and uh, this is what's selling fast right now. 
Tuesday and we have a local deal to go pick up. So the same person that we bought the $1,500 worth of stuff like three weeks ago has some more stuff for us. So we'll go and pick that up. Hopefully uh, the deal works out very similar to last time, which worked out quite well for us. We have some postage to drop off from yesterday, which was nice. Poppy's on the way back. If we don't fill the car first, I think. Good we'll call. see how we go. Take you guys along. Let's go. This is our haul from today. So the guy that we bought $1,500 worth of stuff off like two weeks ago, contacted us again for another lot. Now this one cost us $1,800. So I wanna hear from you guys once I've shown you everything, if you think we got a good deal on this one or not. There's some pretty good stuff in here. It's gonna take a lot of listing, but I think we should get our money back and probably double up in the end. So let's get into having a look at some of the stuff we picked up. All right, let's start in this little box here. We've got a PS2 bag with a PS2 in it, which is good. Put the cords and that in there. We'll probably bundle that up with a couple of games just to get a little bit more money on it. We'll separate the bag out because that's pretty cool. Also got this uh, head unit. I think that's out of a Subaru, so we'll just have to look up the model number on that one. Now there's heaps in this box, guys, so uh, we'll try and pull some of it out. I've got this newer tags team signed Adelaide Crows jersey. Now I think this is from about 2011. There's some names in there. Uh, Brody Smith, very, very cool. Uh, I did see a couple other Sam Jacobs in here somewhere as well. So I think we should do a right out of this one here. Now I'm thinking probably a couple hundred bucks, um, but there might be some signatures in there that go for a little bit more. So we'll chuck it up a little bit higher and see what happens. We got a bunch of like games like board games so there's some different ones here i haven't comped any of this stuff yet so i don't know what they're worth but i think we should do okay what else do we have in here another game Ooh. munchkin foo now these are really interesting guys these are like tarot card sets and some of these have been going for crazy money so dorian virtue apparently uh you can get some money out of that so i've got quite a few sets of those different ones Crazy what some, some tarot cards can go for actually, so we'll have to make sure we do the research on that. Uh, another board game, Stocks and Bonds. Oops, we just dropped that. Anasaki Lost Pablos of the Ancients. That is sealed, so that's a pretty cool find as well. Chicago Poker, that is sealed as well. This guy here, I don't actually even know what this is, but it is by Bandai. Uh, apparently you build these and this is like a high-end set and collectors really love them. So I'm going to be doing some research into that as well. We've got this one here. I don't even know what that one is. Rory Gans. Rory Gans. Sure. I've got a sealed five minute dungeon. A tarot card set. We've got this deduction board game, Lost Treasure. Yeah, Trivia Pursuit that is sealed. Another little tarot set. Caribou Camp, I'm presuming that's the game. Killer Bunnies, another game. And this Champion 2150 electric chess master board. Now this is probably at least 100 bucks. I did do some comps last night and that one looked pretty good. Then we got all these DVD, uh, VHS. We've got some combos, we've got some HD DVDs, we've got some Sony's there. Most of these are comping out around between sort of 70 to sort of 170, depending on the model. We do have all the remotes and stuff in here as well. Some other bits and pieces, this lexicon, I believe this is to do with um, like music. You can plug this into your computer and plug all your music and that stuff in there. Uh, there's all your... Never seen this before, Galican. Apparently 
Uh, these are like a more industrial sort of um, programmable timer, so that's interesting. We've got this little Sanyo compact cassette player, it looks very good. I will be testing that after the last debacle. And that is another little bits and pieces in here. Panasonic uh, microphone. It's actually surprising how much some of these can sell for, so we'll be looking at that as well. A bunch of other stuff, Sony, Clipsal Universal Remote. Like we've got little manuals for that as well. Um, these are interesting. So Netcom Wireless, you plug these into your PowerPoint and you plug in your internet and it's like a Wi-Fi extender essentially. So these are about 20 bucks each, 25 bucks each. So they're about five or six of those, I think. Yeah, we're gonna leave this to last because there's some cool stuff in there, but we'll, we'll keep going. Uh, we've got this sorry Spider-Man 3 game that is sealed as well. Looks like some Lego. Got a bear dude, I don't actually know where he's from, but it looks pretty cool. Got here a solitaire game in its package, a little Mr. Bean watch, that's pretty cool. And this looks like, like a Japanese Tamagotchi type thing. I'll have to uh, look into that one, I'm not sure if that's like the Japanese version or if it's like a, a not a fake but a repo. This is interesting as well. Now this has a bunch of basketball cards in it, so some of them are top loaded, so I'm going to have to look into some of these. Alan Iverson, uh, we've got Alan Iverson, Kobe Bryant, that might be one worth looking into, LeBron James, Kevin Garnett, Carter, Kobe again, Jordan, that's cool, Jordan, All-Star. Jordan Tops playoff USA. So there's like a whole box in there. So we'll have a look through those. Make sure there's nothing in there that's um, crazy worth money. But some of them are sleeved as well. So that might be interesting. Also got some shoes. They are called Morris Shi. I don't even know if that's how you say it. But these are about a hundred dollar pair of shoes. Two of them. A nice pros tie, brand new with tags. Right, we got a bunch of clothes, a nice Adidas Originals jacket. I don't know what that is, Lululemon. I don't even know what that is. Got a nice Marmot jacket. Oh, this is very cool, this piece. I wonder if you guys can pick it before I show you. This is Kagi. So this is the precursor to Kuji. So they changed their name and that is a very heavy wool jumper. I think we'll do quite a lot of that one. And the jacket there. I thought this was Kuji as well originally, but it's not. It's Kuji style, so I'll put that in the title. It is just a purely Australian clothing co. But um, very bright. Okay, we're gonna flick upwards because that was uh, very difficult. So I got this Star Wars. I don't really know what year it's from but it's very, very cool print. It is double stitched, so it might not be vintage. But it's Black Label, so Black Label Society T. There's some awesome tees coming up, so stick around. Jungle Kenzo. We've got a Jurassic World Tyrannosaurus Rex T. Now we start getting into some bangers. So this is a Red Hot Chili Peppers. Now this is on a weird tag. It's like TSP. TSP is it? TSP, yep. I believe this is from 2001. I can't actually make out what that says in there, but that's probably going to stay in my collection. This is a 1992 Chicago Bulls two-peat nutmeg uh, t-shirt. So before they did the three-peat. Guns and Roses. I don't know what year. Going to look into that. This is a nice tee. It's just on a Rock Eagle tag. All right, now we get into the fun stuff. Now, firstly. Big shout out, you know who you are. Gave me this as part of the deal, Space Jam. These are lunch bags. So I've never seen anything like that in its original packaging. That'll go straight to my collection. There's a couple other toys in here that are gonna go to my collection as well. This bad boy, Bugs, Space Jam, Tune Squad. And I think, there he is, Mr. Jordan will be going into that collection as well. 
Let's have a look at some of the other stuff in here. Now, I think most of these turtles are from like the 80s and 90s. So that is a cool little find. Got a bunch of turtles. I don't even know what that guy's from, but that is awesome. Some more turtles in here, I'm sure. There's another one. Turtle. 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 I think most of their accessories are in this box as well. Another turtle. Turtle. Some sort of turtle. <laughs> Uh, we've got a bunch of wrestling figures as well. I don't know what years they're from. That one looks like it is 2013. It's a new one. There's Mr. Cena. You can't, you can't see him. Another one there. I'm not great with wrestling figures. I usually rely on the boys to help me out with that. This is cool. Again, toys isn't uh, a strong suit, so I don't know most of this stuff. Not that bad boy. That is creepy. He's lost part of his arm there, so we'll keep an eye out for that. Again, I don't know what that is. It looks like it's from 94. This, uh, I think that might be Star Wars. Batman, another turtle, piece of accessories, and the turtle, Batman, Some accessories in here as well, got a bunch of these Pokemon marbles, that's pretty cool. So 1800 bucks for all of this, I reckon we should get 1800 back on if all of these DVD players and stuff work, we should get back on that. Plus maybe one or two of the other things. And everything else, obviously fees and postage and all that, I think will double up. Which is what we sort of want to be doing on stuff like this. Bunch of listing to go up. We'll start listing some stuff up. Might show you as we go. We'll sort of list probably tomorrow most of this gear. And I'll uh, show you as we go what sort of prices we're looking at as we um, sort of move through. So let us know in the comments if you would pay 1800 bucks for all this stuff. And if you think we got a good deal. Test one, complete and working. Super quick tip, now that I've tested this and I know this remote works with this uh, DVD player, I'm just gonna tape it there so I don't get them confused. Otherwise, I've got like nine remotes here and I'm gonna get confused on which one works with what. So that one stays with this here DVD player. Number two working, I'll turn the sound off because I don't want a copyright strike, but uh, LG is functioning, remote is functioning. So very happy with that, just watching a little bit of ET. Good run so far. Number three is up and working, this Panasonic. Three out of three ain't bad. I think we're four from four. That one seems to be working as well. Five from five. We're going well, guys. Six from six so far. Onto the DVD VHS combo. DVD is working. Now let's try it VHS. We do seem to have a bit of an issue with the VCR side though on this one, so I'm going to have to try and problem solve. I fixed it. Turns out there's a tracking issue. We're all good. Number eight is working as well. We've only got one more to go. Okay, we do have one that's not working. I spoke too soon. This Panasonic DVD recorder, it's coming up with an error code and no thing on the TV. Mail day. So big shout out to Mitch and Aaron from Retro Rescuers. Uh, their merch is amazing. So we're just gonna smash it on right now. It's so good! How good <laughs> are these originals? Retro Rescuers, we are stoked to get these. We've been seeing everyone else get them uh, in the last couple of days, so we're absolutely stoked for them to come in. Cheers, I've Mitch and Aaron. Also got something from JT that I need to open up as well. Wow, mail day. Okay, so I picked this up um a little while back on mm. jt's auction as they were moving so that is jt funky finds yeah i got a little note here as well that says <laughs> g'day thanks so much for joining the action i hope you enjoyed the night and look forward to seeing you in september all the best 
JT. P.S. Jada couldn't help himself. What does that mean? I don't know what that means. <laughs> I'm a bit scared. Oof. I think I got an extra Space Jam thing. No way! Mm. And I Back got a box. <laughs> and bubble wrap. I picked up this Dom Space Jam chase. I don't want to to open this. Who could have guessed Space Jam? Well, I paid for this one. <laughs> I knew this one was coming. But I didn't know the other sort of Space Jam dude was coming in. So I should even put it in a box protector for it. Legends. And try and reuse that. Uh, yep. That's all for me. Bubble wrap. <laughs> Look at that. Chase Dom from Space Jam the, A New Legacy. So. Thank you very much JT and thank you to Jada uh, for sending me his other Ooh, little no mini. Way. So, a couple little Space Jam minis there as well, which is awesome. <laughs> so we'll get listing now and uh, the cats are running a mark. We'll get listing some of that stuff we picked up today and uh, we'll probably show you tomorrow what we're listing and tow some prices. So thanks guys, thanks to Retro Rescuers and thanks to JT for uh, sending these through. Happy Wednesday guys, we're gonna get into listing today. We have a heap of stuff obviously from yesterday. So I've already drafted up all this gear down here. Like these are lower end items. So games, some tarot cards, they're sort of between 30 and $60 in that lot. There's 20 ready to go out back room is destroyed at the moment because we just have so much stock that's come in well this stuff here that needs to be uh put into tubs but right now we are actually heading out to savers they have a 50 percent off like winter gear so we will actually show you next week what we picked up there but thank you for joining us this week we really do appreciate it make sure you hit that thumbs up and we will see you next week on twasy thrifters bye for now <laughs>